Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Another day here on 16.3. Look what is almost done. Took me five minutes to craft this thing. I realized once I started looking through my skills that I had enough points to craft a workbench. So we're going to craft that thing, plop it down, and at least have access to one of those here in the base. Also making some more crossbow bolts have uh, some more arrows or some more arrow heads in the forge there. So we're going to plop that bad boy down right there. I was able to smelt some tools. I've been smelting some of these old tools. Someone made the comment that I was a fool for holding on to these old tools. I was short for sp on space. But if you look at it, you get a ton of iron. I think 200 to be exact per tool that you put in there. Of course, like we won't need this pickaxe anymore, so we'll throw that in there. And it's going to take a while to smelt it down because I just smelt. Oh, there we go. Didn't take a long time. 200. So you get 200 per every tool. So considering we have zero iron in our base right now, uh, something we need to go mine for, uh, that's an incredible amount of uh, iron that you get for those tools. I've smelted about uh, four, six, something like that so far. Uh, enabled me to make a bunch of uh, a bunch of crossbow arrowheads, crossbow bolts. And so I looked through, just needed mechanical parts, forged iron, and once again, some of those old tools I was hanging on, an old hammer and a wrench to make that workbench. Well, so we can start combining things and we can also look into making a cement mixer which we desperately need. Uh, we're also going to need to make rebar at some point so we can start uh, so we can start building a base somewhere. And I think I need the uh, crucible in order to make that. What does it take to make a crucible anyway? Whoa. Crucible. We need the same thing, really. Small stone and clay. Of course, we need a lot of small stone. Uh, but that's going to be important. That's something we're going to need to to work on making here very soon. How much small stone do we have anyway? Oh, we have enough. We can make that right now. Uh, except for we need uh, steel, yay. Yeah, so you actually have to have the steel perk in order to make that. But we have the required mats here for it. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else. And these doorknobs and trophies, you get a lot more out of it if you put those in the forge hole instead of scrapping them. Uh, like I did there to just conserve space out and about. Try not to do that, you know, any more than I have to. Because if you can get a stack of, say, 20, 30, 50 doorknobs or trophies or something like that, it really breaks down well into the forge. So it's almost 4 a.m. Uh, we're going to go out and about. Need to make myself another spike club. Let's do that now. Uh, spike club. How long does that take? Two minutes? Okay. Well, once we make one, we can combine it in the workbench. It's beautiful. Matter of fact, we'll take this one and repair it so that we can combine. Yeah, we'll just kind of hang out here at the base for a little bit. I'm going to go out check the garden. 342. It looks like we got all of that planted. I know someone said, I can't believe you survived. I think there was a zombie that came and attacked me and I was able to punch him off of me or something. I forgot now, but it looks like it's all full and now growing. So have to refamiliarize myself. Just finished up with a stream. Really appreciate your support there today. Uh, it's been a little while since I've streamed, so it was good to, uh, good to be back uh, streaming with you all. And I uh, hope to be back again here. Next weekend as well. I uh, didn't get run out of town by the hurricane as we originally thought may be the case. Uh, we were able to, uh, you know, get by. Uh, the storm turned west away from us. <clears throat> so we're looking at maybe, and I did also uh, put the better engines in the auger and the chainsaw. The better that I had here in the stash. Took the old brown uh, whatever it was, 56 out and the the orange <clears throat> small engine. Excuse me, I put those in there. Uh, I think the trader doesn't respawn until tomorrow, so probably wouldn't be much need to go over there today. Uh, let's see what we're left here. 40 seconds. Okay, so we'll just hang out for another 40 seconds, and then I can combine those spike clubs, and we'll go out and about 
but I think it's probably time. Boy, this guy's just going to beat on our base unless I kill him. He's going to beat on this. Uh... Come back this way, buddy. Where are you going? Where are you going? He's going to try to come back up top. <laughs> uh, but uh, we need to get into some place and look into building a horde bunker. I was kind of hoping, you know, we could get concrete going and maybe ride it out without a base or a bunker until then. But I don't know if it's going to be possible or not. Put another point into uh, weapon smithing as well. Left myself with nine points. Uh, so we have four points there now. Uh, go ahead and turn this off. Shouldn't need this again. So I don't know what, you know, we need to mine. We need lots of iron, uh, stone, that sort of stuff. But we do need to look into making a base here soon, too. Are you stuck on a cinder block, man? Oh, he's down. Yeah, a little bit of beer. A little bit of beer never hurt. Hey, everyone wants me to go into the poopy pants daycare, but I think I have all the schematics that I need now. Uh, let me take a map. Look at the map and refamiliarize myself. So I remember we had those two traders that were so close together. Really strange. Found this new city over here. This is where we were bitten by the wolf. Had to tear the shirt off our back, make a bandage out of it to survive. Uh, those little POI roads out there. I bet there's a trader somewhere down here somewhere. Uh, we could go south. We could explore to the south a bit. Um, I think. Oh, there's another zombie. Oh, missed him. Uh, but I think we need to maybe look into making some uh, some more iron in the forge. Perhaps even get a second forge. And, you know, I don't want to make any more storage than we have to. Because, uh, well, I want to move everything eventually. You don't want to move everything from this base to a new base. And, uh, oh, I missed him and hit the window. Where is he going anyway? Hey, buddy, where are you going, and why are you going there like that? Nice, blunt weapons. Getting all leveled up. Put our wrench in there and take this knife out and get some bones. Not too worried about the fertilizer, but the bones. Absolutely, we need those bones to make the glue. And tallow, I guess if we were to ever... If we were to ever want to make the flaming arrows, which I never really use because I use a crossbow, and I do prefer the exploding crossbow bolts, you know, we'll have those on hand. Let's stick that stuff in there in the bones. Put that stuff in there. Uh, do a sort. <clears throat> Guess we'll carry the wood. Uh, search for fuel, though. It's going to be a long time before we can make gas. In a chem lab, since it's been a long time before we can get that chem lab uh, going, uh, we can absolutely convert these, which is what we're going to do uh, now that we have the gas can schematic. We can convert that into gas, and I picked up all of those cans from the oil factory. Uh, so that'll hold us over for a little while, uh, but I'm kind of lost as to what to do. You know, I, I can't make cement yet. Uh, I do need the resources Probably need to get another forge going at some point uh, just so we can make a bunch of concrete. Have the cement ready. Uh, but, uh, yeah, outside of that, we're just going to keep going back and forth to the trader. Now, I could go over to the trader. Yeah, look at all of that stuff we have to sell to the trader as well. But we have a lot of money at this stage in the game. A lot of barrels, a lot of gas barrels. Look at all those gas barrels. And the generator. Let's, uh... Let's take that inside. There's no need to keep that on us out here. And the burning barrels, too. We need that for the chem lab. All this stuff we're going to sell, minus the barrels. And the treasure map. You know, of course, we'll eventually dig that up and, and look for that. Uh, but, uh, oh, I was just past it. Throw this stuff in here. But kind of get going again. I've uh, been away. For a while, I pre-recorded those episodes that you watched last week. 
almost all of those episodes were recorded back to back to back. I did three one day and like two the next day and so forth and so on. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just now getting back into this again, uh, trying to relearn where I was at and what I was doing. Uh, we had a couple crazy episodes. Though. Those last couple episodes were, were entertaining for me, at least, uh, for me to record. I enjoyed myself. Is that a zombie? Yep, that was a zombie right there. Had duct tape somewhere in one of those dumpsters close by. I need to go back and get it at some point as well. See if old Nurse Nancy has any first aid kits on her. Oh, that one shot to the head. <clears throat> yeah, she had some cash. I'll take it. Voice is a little uh, out right now. <laughs> I've been speaking for about four and a half hours on that stream. But I wanted to get an episode up today. It may not be a long episode. Nonetheless, it's going to be an episode. 64% gas and a mini bike. We always had this thing we could jump up to the top and, and loot. You know, that's going to be a challenge to get up in there and you know, get those chests. I don't know if I'm going to concern myself with that quite yet or not. I uh, have all the cars we can go back through and loot as well. Uh, but I'm not really pressuring myself this time into getting a base like I normally would. Kind of, you know, just taking it easy. <laughs> Cause I'm easy. Ooh, a little bit of gas. Nice. Get these uh, cars looted up around this little area while we're running by, riding by. See what we can find. Maybe a better quality engine. Who knows? Uh, I'd like to wrench some more cars too. See if we can get a even better engine yet than what we have. We're certainly going to need those whenever we decide to make a generator. Or not a generator, but a shotgun turret. We have the generator already. Good to go on that. Look like a beer over there. Oh. Oh, he has a cigar. Well, I'll take the hunting rifle. I'll leave you the cigar, Cowboy Joe. I guess we'll keep the cans just in case we do want to make some gas. I'm not worried about brass or lead right now. We'll get lead in mass quantity for too long. Uh, a couple more cans. Not worried about feathers either. Uh, I just don't remember what was in this city now that it, I've been away for several days. i uh, going to re-familiarize myself with it. Probably use the bones off that zombie, but I'm going to pass just for time's sake. I'm sure we'll have the opportunity to get many more bones along the way. Uh, we'll take the mechanical part. Might as well take that brass. You know, I, I'm so close by the base. We could dump all this stuff back off. Mini bike is full. Tempted to just ride over there on the mini bike anyway, since we have a mini bike full of uh, goods for, you know, here's an oil company here. And I don't remember. Did we loot this oil company, or was it the one in the other town? I think it was the one in the other town. Uh, if that's the case, then, boy, we're going to have a tremendous amount of oil here. Or gas, I'm sorry. I still hear explosions. I hear zombies exploding on those landmines around the military base. A lot of mechanical and electrical parts in there. I don't know which way the... Oh, here it is right here. Oh, construction worker. Come on over here, construction worker. I don't know why he didn't wake up. I was standing right there, man. You gotta wake up. Wake up! Grand Spartan coming for you. Oh, look at all that gas. Well, we're fortunate there. You know, now we do have a good bit to hold us over until we get a chem lab. Uh, just have to be a little careful with uh, how we use it. Uh, I know the mini bike guzzles it up. And so does the auger and the chainsaw. Not quite as bad as the uh, mini bike. Oh, there's a gas pump right there. But that makes me feel a little better knowing we have that extra amount. Another 25 barrels to convert. 
A couple more cans. Guess we'll take those trophies. And we'll need... Uh, I don't know why there's a cowboy hat in a desk drawer. That doesn't make much sense, but not much does on this game. All right, well, a few little things here and there, some aloe. Yes, we could go to the desert. I think I'd remember that now. Last episode saying, hey, we need to go to the desert and get ourselves some aloe. Well, we could go on over there and do that. And start a mine. Because mining in the desert with the auger, we're going to get a tremendous amount of levels. And we need that so we can eventually get that uh, chem lab, make our own uh, gas. Uh, let's look at that. Let's look into doing that. Getting up a bunch of aloe. We'll come back over here. We'll plant some of it. Make some of it into bandages, because right now we have two bandages and two first aid kits. So, let's see, we'll stick this stuff in here. And the guns and bullets will stick here. Don't want to get too crazy with the... Um I don't want to get too crazy with the inventory. Like I said, I, I, you know, I think I'm just going to pile it all together for right now. And then eventually we make ourselves a, uh, a new base somewhere and I can convert it all over then and sort it. Kind of like we did last Let's Play. Uh, this time may pack it in a little bit more. Well, let me take a look at the map and see where the desert was that we came across. It was where we started, right? Okay, so it's over here. Is where the desert's at. So we can stop by the trader while we're going there. Uh, I think I had a couple items in the base. Let me do a, a quick waypoint. Go right there and get us going the right direction. But uh, yeah, we'll stop by there, drop this stuff off so we can clean our basket out, sell it all off real fast. And then I don't see why we don't just go ahead and, and start a, a small mine in the desert. With this auger, we're going to blast through the levels. Uh, it's going to get us a step closer to our chem lab, to our concrete mixer. All the things that we need to build a base. Plus, in the meantime, you know, we're getting stone and sand. And uh, who knows what else. Uh, go ahead and pool up whatever uh, oil shale and iron we can get as well. And we can always throw a land claim block down. Pick up our... Workbench, forge, cement mixer, whatever it is that we put down. Deer. Nice. Yeah, so I'm not having any problems at all finding animals. I know some of you said that you were, but I think 16.3 has fixed a lot of the animal issue. Now, if you're playing on a multiplayer server, it's a different story. Different story altogether, because uh, you're going to be battling everyone else for animals and it, it, they may not be as plentiful but just here on a single player yeah, I'm finding a lot of animals you know, it seems like every episode I kill at least three, four, five, six, seven animals and I skip a couple because I don't kill the wolves I don't want to take a chance this early in the game oh my gosh what did I do did you see that move midair I just made to like drive I don't know what I was doing I was about to dive down into the cave even deeper my god Goodness, Barton. Well, someone said that I could drive through this water here. Now, I don't know, but the last time I touched water, I got dismounted from the bike, and the bike was rendered useless until I took it apart. So I'm a little nervous to even try that. So we'll just follow the road, since we have a bridge right here. <clears throat> Some of you are also concerned that my trader's going to get eaten by zombies. Now, that's not to say it wouldn't happen, but I've never seen it happen never seen that happen before so i you know i don't i'll close the door back ah oh, son of a gun you came in here and didn't even that's a 458 engine right there you know that that's a lot of money though for a 458 engine Sorry, I didn't have what you needed. <clears throat> well you might have what i need let me uh you got what i need 
Let's get this stuff out here that we're going to sell. I'll never use a compound bow. I don't like it. Uh, compound bow is inferior to the crossbow because crossbow, I can have exploding crossbow bolts. And they really deal with those uh, feral radiated cops. That compound bow, you're going to be sitting there for a long time shooting them with regular arrows. Or uh... Now, someone also, I think Glimpse tested this and said that you do get more level and experience out of selling the items individually versus selling them in a stack. So let's do that. Let's just this one time try that out. <clears throat> We've been selling it in stacks and uh, not individually. My finger's getting tired. Go Grand Spartan, hold on for another three seconds. Woo! Wow. Ha. All right. <clears throat> so, let's see what he has here first. And... What does he have here? That chainsaw is so tempting with that 458 engine. Just to buy it for the engine, you know? But it's so expensive. If it were an auger, I'd probably buy it just so we had the parts and all, too. But that's so much better uh, of an engine than what we currently have. Let's see what else he has here before I go spending money on something like that. I mean, we may not come across that for a while. How much is it? Nine, I may as well say 10000 Let's just buy it. You know what I'm saying? Let's take that out of there. Like so. Let's go assemble. And stick you in there. Now, much better auger. Look at that. 411 auger already. Day 9. Perfect. That uh, engine had a lot to do with it. We'll eventually be able to upgrade the blade. So as long as these parts are good, the engine, the handlebars, the parts... The blade doesn't matter because eventually we'll be able to make a 500 blade. Uh, so let's mark again on the map a little quick waypoint here right there. That's where we're heading. I'm going to get over here to the desert. Pick some aloe. Pick up uh, a bit of that and then dig a hole. Make a little hole down to maybe bedrock. I don't know. We'll see what we find along the way. And I'm keeping my eyes open for animals as we go here. Maybe even up on the hill. Who knows? I have good luck finding animals in the snow, in the plains, in the forest. Pretty good luck there. I, I still get those comments that, boy, you see more animals than I see. Uh, one episode than I see in a week, but I, you know, you even noticed on the multiplayer server that I see more animals now than I did on 16.2, so I think that's just uh, part of the new change or the fix that they added. I don't see a lot of aloe out here. I know we picked some up when we were out and about running over to where we're at now. Getting off the bike just for one here or there. Well, best case scenario here. We're... No, skater dude. We'll just pick it up and plant it, replant it. If we don't get a whole, you know, heap of it, we'll just make a little garden, plant it there. The yucca, I'm, I'm not too concerned with that. I, you know, it's it's good for cooling, hydration. I just need the aloe for healing. <laughs> You know, with all of the shenanigans and the crazy things we come across, if I just had a bandage to pop, stop bleeding, and to give me a little bit of health back. Let's, uh, let's continue riding a bit, though. I know this desert's kind of large. Yeah, yeah, this is a good-sized desert. We could probably start the mine right here and go back that way. How far does it extend to where those houses are? We'd almost be better digging under the town and going that way, wouldn't we? Well, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's dig ourselves a hole before we do that. Let's uh, do a sort. 
stick all this stuff in here that we don't need currently on our little man. And I guess we don't need, yeah, we will need the wood. We need that to make some more frames. Let's make, let's make 35 frames. And then we'll, oh. Why is my bike, why are the wheels moving? That's not good. Okay, now. <laughs> I was getting a little nervous there. I will stick the wrench in there as well, and this chainsaw. I don't need it. And the engine. Plop it down there. Put this on our belt. I'm not going to need the spikes. Probably use all of this gas up. Let's refuel just a little bit. There we go. Stick that in there. All right. Perfect. Have a few repair kits. Might need to make some more. I'm going to cap this off right here. Because I can hear zombies up there. Hear that? I'm going to turn that down a little bit, too, so it's not quite as noisy. Uh, let's check our elevation, too. That's always important. Minus 29. So we don't need to go down too far. Maybe another five, six blocks or something like that uh, deep. And then we'll start like, start to branch out, I guess. Or just go to the east. Mining tools. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I can just pull down on the trigger. What are we at now? Minus 36. Let's just go straight for a bit towards this town. Yeah, gonna get levels now. Lots of sand, lots of stone. And hopefully we run into a pocket of something along the way. Either way, we're going to get ourselves a lot of levels here. Oh, the auger is a beautiful, beautiful thing. But I want to be, you know, I want to conserve at least some of the gas. I mean, we have a lot of barrels, uh, but I don't want to use it all doing this. Because uh, we want to be able to travel on the mini bike. I want to make sure we have enough to travel around. And uh, let's check out Minor 69er as well. Make sure we can't capitalize on that. Uh, Minor 69er, we need to be level 40. So we still have a little, little time to go before we can upgrade the uh, next level of that. Once we get the next level of that, we'll be golden. Uh, let's see. We're almost at the town now. Kind of surprised we haven't run into anything. How far is this? That's a long tunnel we've dug so far. Look at the levels shooting up there, though. My goodness. Well, maybe we go right here and branch it out. We'll go this way. We'll go to the north. Let's see where the north goes. Oh, yeah, it goes back under the town. How much stone and sand? Yeah, almost a stack of sand half a stack of uh, stone or half a stack of stone you have to really think about what you're saying there half a stack of stone half a stack of sand half a stack of stone I'll say that five times real fast Uh, we want to get these uh, mining tools up. Also need to get our construction tools up. The only way that's going to happen is if we build something. So I need to look into building something here soon. Really surprised, you know. Maybe I'm not quite deep enough, but I'm really surprised that we've not come across any resources as of yet. We turn to the west and go back towards our mini bike. Another level. And that's not a real big concern of mine. There we go. There's the oil shield. Not a real big concern of mine coming across resources. Uh, we just want to... Uh, we just want to get levels right now. We're just trying to get levels on the mining tools and our character. Get all that up. Let's do a repair and see how much. 20, 
So it only takes two to repair it right now. That's not too bad. Uh, I wonder what really controls repairing that. Is it science? Or the fixer? And concrete mixing requires science level three. So we could already have that. Let's go ahead and get the points in that. And then the fixer. I'm going to do another point in that. So we might as well scoop up some resources. I don't know. It feels like... It feels like when you're mining resources, you get more experience. When you get, say, iron or lead or oil shale or something like that. Than when you're just digging at sand, uh, sandstone. It feels like your levels go up faster. Maybe not. I know it's going to take a lot more durability to mine iron. But we need the iron. We need all the iron that we can get at this stage in the game. All of the uh, everything we can get at this stage in the game. Uh, but iron's going to be important. We've not had any iron thus far. Just a little hundred stack here or there. Oh, look at that. Lead. Well, that's a beautiful thing. You know, we need uh, lead for shotgun turrets. Uh, we'll be able to pick at boulders to get the nitrate and the coal that we need for gunpowder. And that's how we'll come across all of that, just like we did last time. Uh, but the lead is a little harder to find those pockets. Remember last time we were hunting for lead in all the wrong places. And uh, we couldn't seem to find enough of it. Well, this is pretty promising here. I don't know how long it goes for. Uh, but I may just sit here and pick out a little bit more lead for a minute. Or two. where it goes if it goes up or if it goes down or if that was all of it I find it hard to believe that that might be all of it well, we came from that way so yeah it looks like resources are down from here when we get back uh, we'll be able to make a concrete mixer and uh, cement mixer and, and get the concrete kicking, the cement. And hopefully not long after that, uh, we'll get some steel going and get the, the base under construction. Whatever it is that we come up with. Well, that was kind of a tiny little pocket right there. I uh, might think I might be going the wrong direction with this hole that we're currently digging. Gosh, we might be under it. Maybe all above us. I'm sure someone out there has done the test to see if if you get more experience for, say, picking at oil shale versus iron or iron versus sandstone or whatever. I'm sure there's been a test out there if someone's thoroughly covered all of that. Uh, I have not personally but it just feels to me with all the mining I've done, uh, I tend to get more experience with the oil shale and the iron than I do with just sandstone or just regular stone. Of course, now, you know, with the regular stone, you get iron and stone. Boy, mining tools going up now. It won't be with just a few levels, and we can give a point to a minor 69er for the fourth. It won't take us nearly as long, and we get a little bonus in uh, harvest off of every uh, click of the old auger here. Might need to go looking for stone at some point and see if we can't find a, a little place to mine for stone. Get our stone mine started. We're going to need that. I'm getting all of the sand right now, but we're going to need a lot of stone to not only uh, convert, uh, but, oh uh, well, yeah, to convert it into cement. Ooh, what is this? Nitrate. Nice. Nice. 
Lots of goodies down here in this uh, area. That's why I tell you. I tell you, on the multiplayer server, the resources that we have picked up from the desert, just incredible. Uh, the lead, the nitrate, the oil shale, iron, and then the stone and sand. Uh, just been incredible. Certainly the place to mine is to go to the desert. And it's easy to chew through. And as you can see, we've picked up a good many levels uh, thus far just doing what we're doing here. We still have almost 3,000 gas left, so we're good there. Still convert a good bit of that from the barrels. Uh, I need to take a look at the chem lab and see how high we need to be in science. I think it has to be six in order to get that six or seven. But I need to take another look at it here in a minute. And once we get an unlimited amount of gas, let's take a look at it while we're refueling here. So in order to get the, that's right down here, isn't it? Chemistry station, science seven. So right now we're only three. Play a level 20, level 30, level 40. Yeah, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while before we can make our own gas. So. We will have to make do in the meantime. And that's all right. What are we up to here? Two and a half stacks of sand, a little bit of stone. More lead. See that we picked up a little bit of lead right there. I was looking for lead in all the wrong places. Yeah, we're not gonna spend too much more time doing this, but you kind of have to expect that I need to do it, and there's going to be some of this moving forward. Uh, some of these episodes where the bulk of it's going to be us underground mining, trying to get our uh, resources up. Well, it's enough sand to get us started with uh, cement. Now we just need to dig some stone. Might even do some uh, pocket chasing where we're, uh, make sure the mini bike is, yes, this way, where we're uh, looking for gravel spots on the surface and chasing a little pocket of resources there. And anywhere outside of the desert biome, you know, we'll be getting stone as well while we're chasing whatever it is we're chasing. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point. We need it all, so it would just be a bonus to get anything else uh, other than stone. So if we were able to get some lead or get some nitrate, I'm going to mark this little spot on the map right here as mine. All right. Let's ride up to this little town. Is this nitrate? Wow. Desert right here. Pick it real quick. And clay. Oh, well, we need clay. Looks like a little bit more aloe over here. We can always use that as well. And there it is, last piece. Let's drive up here where we died originally. From the uh, puppy vulture snake. Puppy vulture snake. And we'll take the tuna. We'll take it. Afraid to eat a little bit of tuna. Let's uh, stick that away in there. That as well. 
And we are going to need to get some clay. That's going to be another thing I need to scoop up at some point. Uh, let's check the stores once again here. We, we had the... Okay, a gas station right here. There's a bookstore. Wow, I didn't even realize this when we came by here first time. Did any of you see this when we came through here? I know it was a brief moment that we stopped by this town and we died. And I just ran back and got my bag and kept running. Uh, but I didn't remember there being a gas station here in this town. Uh, well, let's go in here and see what we can find. Check all of the uh, areas, make sure. There's a working stiff box. Nice. Oh, I hate to scrap that shovel when we could stick it in the forge hole. You know, we're this stage of the game and we're low on resources. Got a little hate from someone the other day about that. About, boy, you know, you needed space and... And you didn't scrap the shovels, and it's like, wow, you know, I needed the shovel for uh, to put in the forge as low as we were on resources. What do you have, Nurse Nancy? Tell me you have some first aid kits. Ah, painting, metal book, and some cash. That's some more cash. Another oil barrel. We're just taking turns on you, ladies. Taking turns. Well, there's usually a something back here. There's nothing back there. Um, couple cooking pots. We'll read the look at the bookshelf here. Well, if anything, there's gas. There's gas that respawns here. So we can always come back and scoop up the gas every time it does respawn. You know what? Is that my bag? That's my bag right there, isn't it? Oh, there's some yucca in there. Let's throw it out. That's the only thing that kept our bag from despawning so we didn't see it on the map anymore. Nice. Well, that won't pop up any longer. Uh-oh. Hear that. Oh, he's on my tail. <laughs> that might be the same. The puppy vulture snake. Puppy vulture snake. Oh, man. <laughs> Too bad, puppy. Got a mini bike now. It's a lot faster than you are, sucker. See ya. We are out of here. There's a big pocket of clay over there. There's an airdrop up there, too, you know. Might not be a bad idea to go get that thing. Uh, well, we don't need those. Eh, we could use the hammer. I guess we can make the hammer. I don't think we can make the wrench. That's actually an upgrade. For that, let's go ahead and scrap this. And... Do a sort. We don't need the nails. We can scrap those as well. Let's ride up to that airdrop since we're close by. We may as well go scoop it up, right? No need to leave it lying around. Could be some beakers in there. I think we have enough beakers in the stash that we can make a chem lab once we get to that point now. So that's not much of a concern. Oh, there's a vulture flying around it too. Don't, don't chase us down. It's all right. We'll ride off into the sunset as soon as we scoop up what's good here. Ah, some stuff we can sell perhaps. Oh, exploding crossbow bolt. Nice. Guess I can read that too. Yeah, that's like my favorite thing now on Alpha 16. I mean, I used it on 15 too, but uh, I love the exploding crossbow bolts. They're just, if I didn't have those, the exploding or the uh, 
feral radiated cops would just be so tremendously difficult to take out. It makes it so that those are bearable. I can I can deal with those now. Uh, without the exploding crossbow bolt, you're uh, you're in for a long night and a lot of bullets if you're using a firearm. Yeah, I don't really care for the firearm, you know, unless I get a, a high level sniper rifle or AK or something like that. It's just such a resource sink for ammo and repair kits and all. I just prefer the uh, crossbow. What is this? Oh! What is that? Potatoes, they are so yummy to me. Oh! Well, this will get us kick started, right? Now we just need the corn. Well, we could plant a, a nice little garden of potatoes now and have some left over. Beautiful. I missed that first time around. I didn't see that at all. All right. Well, good find there, Grand Spartan. Good find. Looking to make sure I'm not missing any others. <laughs> I don't want to pass up on the potatoes and corn. Maybe there's a big cornfield somewhere. Uh, you find little corn here and there out in the wild, uh, here in the waste or the uh, plains. Uh, corn's not as big of a deal, and it multiplies fast. So the potatoes, eh, a little harder to come by, unless you come across a field like we just did. Well, we are full. Mini bike full. Inventory full. I say we stop by this second trader. I think we can make it there. Yeah, he's right there. We can make it there before it closes. And uh, sell off a couple of these items that we're carrying around that we were going to sell to him anyway. We checked out this trader already because I do believe tomorrow, I should have looked right then when I was at the first one. I'll make sure it looked this time. But I think it all respawns tomorrow. New loot. So whatever they have now will be gone tomorrow. And if we passed up on something before, uh, at least we have the opportunity to get it now. So I'm seeing coal out here. May start a coal mine somewhere in this area. Uh... Probably could just pick at the boulders and pick at the little patches of coal here or there. But uh, also these dead trees. You know, you cut these dead trees down with a chainsaw, you get a bunch of coal. So may do that as well. Um, let's take a look here at our mini bike and what we had to sell. The rocket launcher part. I could almost sell the chainsaw back to him, but we're going to keep that. Um, let's stick... The I don't need that. Let's just run in here, sell this stuff. If he has anything worthwhile, we'll come back out and get our money. I don't think I don't remember what he had last time we were here. So once again, let's sell off that stuff individually. Yeah, we're not gonna need to. Uh, we'll sell him that. We're not gonna need that anymore. AK-47 stock, eh, we'll sell it. Same with this. No need for me to hold on to that stuff. So, what does he have in secret stash? A small engine, but it's not very good. Um, And that's it. I don't see anything else worth having. Just going to look through real fast, make sure there's nothing I'm missing out on. Uh, nope. Don't let the nope. Door hit you on your way out. <clears throat> well. Very good. Very good. All right, so back to the base we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Kind of scouting out for animals here. Want to make sure we don't pass up on any more animals. There's a bunch of corn. You know, all kind of scattered about over here. I'm looking at, since we were so fortunate to pick up all those potatoes. Uh, and I'm short on meat stew. You know, I don't have a lot of meat stew left. I think I have one. I, I ate one off uh, recording right before I started recording. And I have one left now, so 
see a little bit more corn sprouting over here. Let's scoop that up real quick. It's almost dark, 2200, so we need to get on into our base so we don't attract any unneeded attention. You know how it always works. We'll get a wandering horde to enter into the uh, into our screen, like right as we're walking into the base, and they'll follow us. Is that coal or nitrate? That's coal, isn't it? Well, I'm only getting one. That's fine. That's vulture. Puppy vulture. The only thing we're missing now is a snake. Puppy vulture snake. Puppy vulture snake. All right. That was a good little trip. We got some levels done. A little bit of loot. You know, inventory plus our mini bike full of loot. Bunch of useful items. A lot of iron. We'll go ahead and get that in the forge now. Only thing I'm short on would be wood. You know what would have been smart? Would have been to chainsaw down some of these trees since we're going to need coal anyway. Maybe two birds with one stone. Oh, well, this tree didn't give it to me. This is a dead tree. Oh, it's all pooping out on the ground. It's pooping out on the ground. Oh, my precious coal, come to me, precious coal. Yeah. I was wondering for a second there, I was like, wait a minute. Why is it, uh, why is it not uh, entering my inventory? There's one over here. And a zombie. You stay away from me, zombie. Don't want to beat it with a. Don't want to beat it with a club. Let's see if we can make the tree fall on the zombie. Oh, it did! It killed him. Look at that, sucker! <laughs> I don't know why that's so enjoyable, but it was. She's beating down that building, trying to get into the bookstore there. 2104, so we're cutting it close. Well, it was a full day of it. I didn't expect to go this long. I said, oh, I'll do a 30, 40 minute episode or something for tomorrow. Uh, nothing too serious or too long. Uh, but here we are at uh, 52, 53 minute mark. Now we're almost back now. Pull up on the bike, make sure there was nothing in here I wanted to take inside with me. Anything that I could leave behind. We'll leave a little gas behind. Let's go ahead and refuel the mini bike while we're at it. Um, we can take that engine. We can take the wood, the aloe. We'll leave the gas barrels in there. We'll take the chainsaw, the meat. And that's good. We'll come back out and get the rest later. Wait a minute, did I stop at the right place? I did, didn't I? No. We'll have to get up there and loot that thing. People are telling me that the loot in that tower is incredible. But I don't know. I've never uh, been there before, uh, except for on the bottom floors. So I'm curious what might be in those towers. I have to check it out. Go up there and loot it up. Perfect. Well, we're going to throw the old iron up in there. We're going to need to go get ourselves some more clay, but wow, that's a, that's a lot of iron we have now. No shortage on that. Turn it on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you joining me again here today. Uh, tune back in tomorrow. We'll have another episode. We're going to be doing it all over again, but bigger and better as always. Have yourselves a good day, good evening, wherever you may be located. I'll see you all tomorrow.